Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a party prep slash setup for my two-year-old, Weston. Um, his theme is to the moon. So <clears throat> I'm gonna have a lot of fun decorating today. Um, the party's tomorrow. Um, I have a lot to do, I have a little list. Today is Weston's actual birthday, so this morning we did you know, a little special breakfast with just him, his dad and I. Um, he opened one gift, he's behind me playing right now. Um, but tomorrow is the actual party. So I am gonna pull out the camera and vlog um, the whole setup. So um, I started blowing up balloons already because um, I'm gonna do a big balloon arch. Um, I'm gonna try and do the party mostly outside and our sunroom, um, hopefully the weather um, takes a turn because today it's gross and rainy and I need it to be sunny by tomorrow because <laughs> we have a bounce house coming too. Um, so on my to-do list today is to bake cupcakes and cake, um, pick up cookies at 12.15. Um, so that's exactly two hours from now. I'm getting custom cookies made, um, like space themed cookies. Um, I need to clean the sunroom, the windows, set up the tables, the folding tables, cut fruit, set up the balloon arch, um, finish laminating a couple signs, and hang a pinata hook outside. So that's on the to-do list today. I'm sure there will be more things that pop up along the way, but um, we are ready, right? Also, here's my Pinterest board. Um, so I've been collecting ideas. Um, for about a month or over a month. Um, if you want to follow me on Pinterest, you can, and just click on this board. I'll make it um, public if it's not, but little balloon ideas, cookie ideas. I got these balloons on Amazon. I love the way this arch kind of sits. Um, so yeah, you can see like what my inspo is here is the task at hand to transform this room um, into a full-on party so I have my work cut out for me this is after me cleaning up for the last few days like we treated we treat this room like our garage we don't have a garage so there's literally stuff everywhere like we've had this front door over a year that we've been wanting to install and we just haven't gotten to it. It's a bed frame. So anyways, I need to clean in here a little more. Um, we are, I'm just gonna fold these strollers and store them in the car for the next day. Um, so yeah. All right guys, so I just ran to pick up my cookies. Um, I met this girl. I messaged her on Instagram. Um, I found her through a friend and anyways, she's like just starting her business. So I'll tag her down below. If you live in this area, um, Taylor made cookies is her Instagram handle. I believe, um, I've just barely looked at them. I'll open them right now to show you. They look so good. Like so professional, so adorable. She's, um, really affordable too. So here I'll open the top and let you see. Cause I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm obsessed. Look how precious these cookies are. I don't know if they're all the same or, or what, but so, so cute. And I know her cookies taste good too because um, I've had them at a baby shower, my baby shower that I had with my neighbor. We're pregnant at the same time. So anyways, at our combined cook baby shower, she um, she did the cookies and they taste amazing. Yay, I'm so, I'm so excited. Weston's gonna freak out. All right, so here's all my balloons. Man, I'm wore out. Doing a party, being 35 weeks pregnant like this is no joke, but we are getting places. Um, hopefully this is enough to do an arch um, over this. Plus, um, I'll probably put balloons either one more place, like over there, or I'm not quite sure yet. Um, and then I got some of these big guys. 
blown up. I'll link um, the kits that I used down below. Um, they were all from Amazon. I have some other stuff over here to work with. Tablecloth, a holographic birthday banner. Um, so yeah, and then I wanted to show the little like gift bags, gift boxes for the kids to take home. Um, I thought these were so cute. They're little rocket ships um, from Target. They were pretty reasonable. It came with a ton. Like here's all the extra ones. Um, this will be the bags for the candy <clears throat> and the pinata. And this is like their little take home bag. So what I put in here is some little space tattoos. It came in like an assorted, you know, bundle on Amazon. They're all different. Super cute. I thought those would be fun. And then everybody has a little ball, like a space bouncy ball. Um, yeah. So Weston loves this kind of stuff. So, you know, nothing crazy. And then I did put one one or two little um, kisses down there. So, yeah, I mean, you know, these are so simple. I thought, oh, if I find one more thing to stuff them with, great. If not, whatever, you know, it's just a tiny little favor for people to take home. Um, and then I need to tie the tops closed. Um, so I'll do that soon, but once it's closed, you know, then it looks like a real rocket like this. So yeah. I'm gonna work on that. Um, kind of get my bearings for the balloon arch and start setting it up right here. Um, and I am gonna have to use command hooks up here. So. Okay, so I have all my balloons laid out here. Um, I'm gonna use this balloon tape which has all these little holes in it. So I don't really have a method other than just alternating sizes of balloons and colors. Um, and then I just put them in a line and they kind of fall into place. So yeah, that worked for me the last time I did that. So I mean, I'm literally just gonna grab random balloons and then start stringing it in the tape. And you kind of pull it tight to where that little smaller notch is. And then go from there. And I just hope for the best.
Mel's here now helping me set up. Um, I'm here in the office with my balloon blower upper. I had enough to do um, that big main arch, but there's a couple more places that I wanna add some balloons. So um, I do have some leftovers. I'm gonna get to that right now. I also have like a back stock of balloons in my, like my party bin. So I'll probably dive into those too and just kind of do some mi mix match colors. Um, yeah, because there's just some bare areas that we want to add some balloons. Um, I'm going to use this. I just started using this little tie. It like helps you tie the balloons without, um, I'll show you. I'm like rambling, but um, without destroying your fingers. I don't know if it saves time necessarily, but it is nicer to tie it on this. Um, I'll show you because it's kind of I'll show you with one of these bigger balloons. It's hard to do with those little tiny ones, but um, my fingers get so sore after just like 10 minutes of blowing up balloons. So let me show you how this works. doing this yesterday let's see yes okay so I'm right-handed so like my least dominant hand is gonna have this on it so you take the balloon the end get the stem wrap it around and then under so it's like a loop and then let's see, you drag it to the end and slide it off. Just like that. What kind of a piece? Or are we just gonna give him a fork? Yeah, just give him a fork. <laughs> what, where okay. is the fork? You gonna eat it? Yeah, eat it up, boy. Yes. Did you eat it, Bobby? Mr. Two Year Old, you are one. That's a lot of icing, okay. ready? Take a bite. You want a oh, bite? That's, that's fine. Oh my oh, god! Uh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> so oh good! Yay! Yeah. So okay. good! <laughs> So good. Four. Do you remember what you did last year? You like massaged your cake. <laughs> Mom, that's so good. Mm hmm. It's good stuff. Wow, buddy. That was a pretty cake moment for yeah, you. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Good Thank morning. You. So it's the next day of party setup. Today is the actual party day. Um, I've been up for a little bit, um, just like 30 minutes or so. Connor took over with Weston this morning. So I actually sat in bed like 30 minutes and had a little face mask on, whitened my teeth and just had a little bit of, you know, me time. Um, so today um, I need to get the cake done, frost the cupcakes. The bounce house guy is on his way right now. 
Um, he's been super great so far, like with communicating and he's $100 for the whole day. Like he's gonna get here around 10 and then um, we have the bounce house like the entire day, which is great. Um, I found his number through a neighbor, but um, he's been fabulous. Hopefully the house is fabulous. But anyways, I'm gonna get started on the cake in a few minutes. All right, so I'm getting ready to start my cake. I did three layers. Um, I just did a Funfetti boxed cake mix, and then I'm gonna be using um, just vanilla, but here is kind of that idea between the two cakes. It's gonna be something like this and this. I have these little astronaut guys. I have um, fondant to do some stars, so this is the goal, we'll see. <laughs> you know, Pinterest versus reality. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get started. I'm just gonna start with all white icing on the three layers and then go back with some blue. Um, I have some blue right here. But the bounce house just came, it's awesome. <clears throat> I'll show you guys real quick. He didn't have like a space themed bounce house he only had disney or minions available so there it is i think it'll be awesome yeah give the kids something to do outside i thought oh maybe the bananas can be uh moons we'll call them moons not bananas <laughs> to fit the theme So I finished frosting the cake and putting the fondant stars on. Um, this isn't the cake stand I'm gonna keep it on, so I'm gonna transfer it to this big white one. Um, and then I'm gonna put on like the finishing touches. These little astronaut guys, the moon, 
the candle, just have it all like prepped and ready. Um, and then I'm gonna keep it in the fridge so it stays nice and sets and you know, so the frosting doesn't get weird. And so yeah, wish me luck while I transfer this over. Banana. <gasps> banana. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Whoa. Let's go see. Whoa. So cool. What do you think? You want to go in with mama? Yeah. You can go in and bounce? You get in. Oh, you go in right here. Look, yeah. Bubba. Gigi got you some balls to play with in there. Ooh. Let's get him out. We'll go in. You can go in with Mama. Yeah. Yeah. Jump. Jump. Good, Baba. Are you? Whoa. It's okay. Here, hold my hand. You're gonna make. I think he's nervous. It's okay. If you fall, it's okay. If you fall, it's fun. If you fall, it's fun. Yeah. It's almost like a big soft bed. He'll get used to it. Whoa! <laughs> it's like bowling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go. So I didn't vlog when I made these um, pretzel rods. So I just wanted to kind of explain what I did really quick. They've been in the freezer for like two or three days now. Um, you can go back and watch one of my Fiesta party prep videos from Weston's first birthday if you want to see what I did. Because I did the same exact thing. Um, I dip them in white chocolate. I just melt it in the microwave in a glass dish. I get the pretzel rod. I dip it in the white chocolate, <clears throat> then I set it on parchment paper and put whatever sprinkles, you know, fits the theme. And then I let them set, pop them in the freezer and keep them in either a tub, a bag, or just like this. This is the first time I just let them kind of sit on a tray, but they're fine. They don't get like frosty or weird or anything. And the pretzels still taste good. Like once it kind of sits out for a little bit, the kids love them. Like these are always like the first thing to go. So I made sure to make um, plenty of these. They're really, they're really delicious. So you guys, I think I just discovered a game changer for frosting cupcakes. I picked this up at Target. Um, it's a pastry filled um, icing bag and it comes like this. It is so perfect. It comes with a nice wide tip. Um, I did one batch already behind me to kind of, you know, to see how it goes. This is a little bit more expensive than buying a jar of frosting. Although maybe not, because this is probably like two tubs of frosting. Like this thing is huge. I think it was three something, but this is so much easier because I like to fill my pastry bags anyways and put a cute tip on instead of using a knife. I just feel like this makes it look, you know, so much more like put together, like professional, but look at that. 
so easy. Here's my little outfit for Weston's party. My bump is really popping in this dress. Look at that. 35 weeks. I put on my little Miranda Fry star necklace. I didn't buy anything special. I just looked in my closet to see what would work. I think this is gonna work. Are the little boxes coming? Oh, good. <laughs> Any more party favors? Yeah, you got the annoying job, the tedious job. Bubby's Bubby's napping, so we're finishing our setup. And there's Nene. Hi, Nate. Hello. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. So I'm about to set out the cupcakes, the cookies, and kind of get all the food going. Did Thor make an appearance? No. Did Spider-Man? No. No? Uh-uh. -oh. Which superheroes did? So there's different superheroes. Um, uh, I guess so with the Captain America woman, Captain America woman? Yeah. Oh, she's that alien, right? It's not really Captain America. Santa. Oh. Hi. Nice. Right? Is there a, you guys are Santa every day to Weston. Right? Is there a present corner? Yeah, it's over here. You hear the ducks yeah. anytime anyone walks out there. They're so cute. Mom, do you think put them in two stacks? Like the pepperoni? Yeah, yeah. Is these are the huge trays, I don't know. Cute setup. Yeah, this all looks great. Did you see the cookies? Oh my gosh. She's so cute. They're adorable. Okay, she did an amazing I know. job. She did wow. So good. She was really reasonable too. I love the colors. Oh, the right pizza now. smells so oh, good. I'm like Joel and I are starving know, smelling the pizzas in the car. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for picking that up. Yeah, of course. That saved a trip. Yeah. So it was super easy. Okay, cool. Cute the little okay. plates. Okay, how'd you find these plates? Is to the moon like a normal theme? Because I thought you kind of like yeah, came up with it. Not like really popular. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's a, like if you Pinterest it, there's tons of ideas. Oh, wow. So.